I don't know how long we got. <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, Destiny. Beth, thank you for praying. Jossie was okay. She's a trooper. She was just kind of contending with her big brother. So all of you mommies and daddies out there, you know what it's like sometimes when the other spouse is out of the house or some of us who are single parents. You know what it's like to have to balance your destiny going after your purpose with these little ones who need you. Everything is fine. Thank you, Jennifer, for being concerned. Jossie actually started smiling and giggling as soon as I signed off, so you didn't get to see her, but um, smile. Hey, Fred. So share again. We're going to get through day 15. Um, it's about surrender. I know it's not a coincidence that ju that just happened because sometimes we have to surrender our plans. My plan was to be with you. Just wasn't going to happen. But now I'm going to finish it up because my intention is right, right? Day 15, a prayer for the Quicksilver ability to surrender. I'm going to start again from the beginning. We'll see how far we get this time. All right. Father God, help me to give legs to the dreams you give me without painting my own limited image of what I think the outcome will look like exactly. I know that if I hold on stubbornly enough to my vision of my dream, you'll eventually just let me have my wimpy version, and I don't want that. Instead, help me keep a firm determination, but also a loose grip so that I can grab on to your version of your dream for me instead. I'm surrendering my plans, my desires, my dreams, my suggestions, my intentions, my schemes, and especially my will to you. I'm determined not to want anything more than I want you and your will for my life. In fact, I surrender my life to you. My education, my family, my career are all in your capable hands. When I start wanting you more than anything else, it makes surrendering everything else that much easier. When it comes to my destiny, I refuse to operate like a control freak because I understand having you in control will bring the best outcomes possible. Help me to accept that my eyes, my ways, and my thoughts are not yours. So I might not always understand some of your maneuvers. Keep me from operating in manipulation to get my way. Cleanse me of ulterior motives. Ward off frustration when I've been pleading with you without getting the answer I thought I wanted. Don't let me be angry with you and turn against you because of it. Grant me patience to wait on your will that I know you will reveal to me in your time. Teach me how to pray so I can start to sense what it is that I should desire. Remind me that when I know what to ask for, I'll start getting more yeses from you. That's when I'll start asking followed by receiving, and that's when I'll knock and doors will be opened. God, I'm seriously asking you to take control. I mean it for real this time. For real. Amen. <laughs> I hope you're having a great weekend. I want you to enjoy the remains of the weekend. Don't forget how you are made. You are made in audacious fashion. That's right, amen, Yvette. And so as you go into tomorrow, a wonderful day of reflection um, and really filling up and refreshing your spiritual self, enjoy your church services tomorrow. I'll see you again for day 16. We're halfway through an audacious August. I hope you guys have been having audacious breakthroughs. Take time to send them to me. Hit me up on Facebook at Jade Media, Twitter at Jade Simmons, of course. Let me know how this book has been affecting the way you live, the way you speak, the way you talk. And let me know what God has been doing in your life. So we'll be back for more. I think there's some more Becoming Lilette coming up. You'll be coming behind the scenes with me next week as I go on some media interviews and some speaking appearances. So have an awesome weekend. Thank you, Yvette. Have a fabulous day as well. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. And let me go check on my kids. See you all. Bye.